know, over COVID, we've learned how to do things um, that is, are, are remote, not in person. And that's what this is. Um, so these are gatherings where, where people uh, who are mostly computer programmers, uh, but you don't have to be, you know, quote unquote, a computer programmer. you'd be somebody who's interested in coding. And in fact, by doing that, you yourself are a programmer. So we want to demystify this whole idea about developer and a program. This, you don't need a lot of experience to be a developer. All you need to know is how to actually use a product. So all of us are actually developers. We all, I'm sure, are using social media. Let's see people who are using, um, oh, uh, I see Dulcie got that answer. She says um, 16, uh, 1.6 billion results there. Uh, in terms of the number of STEM uh, STEM listings now. And I, we like to say we, we contributed to that. So good deal, Dulce. So again, um, a hackathon, uh, again, are, is for developers. And every one of us are, are, are developers, even if we don't realize that. Because every one of us are, are knows how to use Google, I'm sure. Some of us use Google Classrooms. Every one of us knows how... Um, to use um, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And so if you know how to use those products and you are actually utilizing them, you are yourself, in a sense, developing uh, those. You're, 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 you're using those for a particular purpose. And in some case, you're actually improving those products. And so in, in a broad sense, that's all a developer is, is someone who uses a product in order to accomplish a particular task. And so the task that we're going to be accomplishing uh, is what we're going to be talking about next. And so, um, again, uh, what we want to do is come out of this so we have a functioning uh, project, something that actually works. Now, your project might not actually work itself, but that's okay. because well, so you're going to still get points for just working on it um, and, and coming up with ideas. So um, that's something that you also will, will be able to be celebrated about. Um, and so we have some different prizes. And I, I know that the, the, the uh, text is, is, is bad, so you, you won't be able to see it as, as much. But you're going to get uh, prizes on which um, team's uh, project looks uh, and, and, and sounds the best, the best presentation, which team's app uh, worked the best, what team had the best ideas well, actually, uh, so that's a different. But which team had the best idea for um, for a game? Um, so that that's um, one of the things that you're going to be able to um, to get a uh, uh, you know rewarded for. Which which team has the best um, you know uh, project for a game? And I'll pull that up. Let me see if I can can share my screen with with you on that so you you're gonna have a chance to see let's see here it is right here okay great great here it is so which teams app worked the best what team had the best idea for a game that combats violence what team's presentation looked and sounded the best that was what i was mentioning earlier and what team was the best uh overall so the team that had the top score for game idea, the app functionality, and the presentation. And um, what team member made the strongest contribution? So you, if you, your every team um, was going to have a winner on that team who's going to get some prize because they are the strongest contribution. And in fact, every member of every team that gets through to the end um, we'll be able to get a, a a prize. And so what are we talking about? We're talking about every a person who attends every session. You're going to get a prize for attending uh, the session. Um, and if you may, have, for example, if you have something that your mother or father um, asks you to do, all you got to do is let your coach know. And so long as it gives you uh, an excuse for that, you, you, you're you okay. But you got to be able to get back um, and actually work on the team project. Um, and that's going to be uh, done overnight. You guys are going to be coming up with a an app using two tools that we're going to teach you. And you don't have to have any coding experience to, to work on these tools, but two tools that we're going to be teaching you to actually build your own um, game, uh, a game that gets points for, you know, 
solving crime or helping people who avoid violence. So I almost think about Grand Theft Auto. How many people have played Grand Theft Auto? Let me see some hands. So if you play Grand Theft Auto, let me see your hands. All right. So think about the opposite of Grand Theft Auto, right? Think about um, something that instead of gives you points for bludgeoning somebody or running over somebody or, or, or shooting somebody, uh, an app or game that actually gives you points for avoiding hitting somebody, avoiding uh, killing somebody, helping, in fact, not just avoiding doing that, but actually helping people, right? And maybe even a, 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 a game that actually gives you points for um, getting the police or getting the people who are supposed to be helping that person committing that violence get the help that they need, right? Maybe you, you have a game that's going to actually, re, uh, you know, going to actually get help. So when a person is actually committing violence, maybe it might have a sirens to to to, to shine lights on it. Maybe you have a drone that comes up and 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 puts lights on that particular person, so so that they can get uh, help. Um, to that area. So these are all the things that um, we are, are looking for in terms of the um, the actual um, ways in which you can you can win. All right. So just to, and and your team um, your your team rooms should have that information. All right. Um, so let's go back to um, to to again. Uh, why why are we doing this? Well, we're doing this, as we said before, because violence is a big problem. And again, we are looking and waiting for attorney um, uh, attorney Austin to join us. Um, but we're going to be talking about brainstorming. So you're going to be doing some brainstorming um, to come up with your, the best ideas to 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 build. Um, so I, people are going to to say, OK, well, maybe we can we can build something that's going to help, um, you know, create a game that that awards uh, points for for people who are um, who are or, or stopping crime or people who who avoid crime. So all those are things um, that you're going to be uh, getting, um, you know, uh, an opportunity to do. And, and in fact, we actually had some um, we actually had some some um, actual examples that your coaches actually took the time to build some uh, cool apps. And so we're going to actually show those, um, some of those at some point. Um, and so I want to um, give, uh, 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 again, Dr. Shelton, maybe an opportunity to up the, update the, the deck so we can make sure that we get those examples. Because I think the best way of, um, of exciting young people about using these tools is to show that these tools can work. If you, um, you know, if you use them and your coaches actually did exactly what you did. They spent the night building tools using bubble IO and uh, construct three to um, to basically come up with um, a, uh, a cool game that actually did work. Uh, so these are the things that um, you're going to be using these same tools, bubble IO and uh construct three so let me just pause here um let's see how many people um actually were able to go online and um and do some um bubble io can anybody um tell me who 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 went online and actually did um uh, bubble io I, I'm, I'm i'm seeing um uh I'm seeing that we, so let's see, let's see who actually went online and checked out either Construct 3, which is the game, who, who's ever used Construct 3? Let's just see in the, in the foreground. Construct 3. All right. Uh, Olu said they used it. All right. Munir, uh, you didn't get a chance to use it. That's, that's okay. Tarek, uh, did you use it? Uh, uh, let's see. Dylan. All right. Dylan, he used it. Construct 3. You can really build some really cool. How about Bubble IO? Anybody who, who who checked out the Olu? You, you you used it, okay? Dylan, all right, good stuff, good stuff. All right, Jeremiah, excellent, excellent. All right, well, um, I want you guys to kind of, um, if you built something in Bubble IO, go ahead and if and there's a link to what you built, go ahead and put it in the chat, and, and the coaches included. 